Welcome to In Business, a series produced by Good Morning Belfast for the Belfast Area Chamber of Commerce. Meet business people, nonprofit leaders, and others who work to make Belfast and Waldo County prosperous and vibrant. The Chamber of Commerce provides networking and training for businesses, strategies for new economic development, and promotions for attracting visitors to the Belfast area. Find out what's happening in business across Belfast and Waldo County and meet the people who are making it happen. Hello, I'm Steve Ryan, the director of the Belfast Area Chamber of Commerce, and I am here with my guest Chris Cozine of the Coffee News. Uh, Coffee News has been a uh, chamber member for a long time now, and we appreciate that very much. And this is a great opportunity for us all to get to know a little bit more about the publication and what you try to do for our community. Perfect. First, I want to thank you for the opportunity to be here. Um, Coffee News started in Canada, believe it or not. Mm. Um, Jean Dam actually um, started the whole idea of Coffee News. And then upon her passing, uh, Bill Buckley is a very prominent member of the community, took it over from her, and now he owns all the Coffee News franchises um, in, the, in the world. So that's, that's how we got started. Um, you know, I've been here for two months, mm -hmm. kind of learning everything and kind of figuring out how to help people in the community. And how does Coffee News connect with our local businesses and what kind of help can you provide? So I come down here, um, I try to get down here at least once or twice a month mm -hmm. um, to meet with business owners, you know, show my face in the community. I'm all about community involvement. Um, Part of the giver's gain, you know, if I give business, people want to give business to me. Mm -hmm. So I try to help businesses grow as much as I can. I'm a consultant first, um, and I take a look at businesses and how they market themselves mm -hmm. and how they can target the audience that they want to target and grow their business through Coffee News. Very interesting. When you say come down to Belfast, where are you coming down from? Where are you based? I was born and raised in Old Town. Mm -hmm. uh, I usually hang out in the Bangor area quite a bit. Mm -hmm. I actually have four editions up that way. Um, I just have the Waldo County edition down here. Mm -hmm. So that's one of my outlying editions that I try to fill up, you know, quite a bit. And we go all the way from Belfast, Lincolnville Beach, all the way up to Winterport area with our edition down here. So I have quite the territory. And that's a very important point for small businesses who want to be seen is that this is a local edition. This is a good way to be seen in your community. Absolutely. We, uh, we try to focus on local as much as we can. Uh, we have a weekly what's happening that I do. Mm -hmm. um, that is part of, you know, the edition that we do is businesses email me. I go on Facebook. I look at our town Belfast and try to pick out nonprofit events that are happening in the area and put that in so the community around us knows what's going on in the town of Belfast and beyond. How did you come to this role? Well, I started off, I have a four-year business degree from University of Maine Presque Isle, my, um, communications minor, accounting minor. Mm -hmm. And I sold cars for three years, kind of loved what I did there, but it was time to move on. So I actually found this on Indeed, um, a job posting website, and was like, Coffee News, I never heard of this. Let's go check it out. Mm -hmm. I actually sat down with Bill, had a great interview, and kind of saw the opportunity for me to help the community as well. And I, I was all on board for it. And like I said, I've been here about two months now, and things are going pretty well. Very, very good. And you are, as you mentioned a couple of times, really getting active in our uh, community across the county and uh, looking for uh, ways that you can connect more. You'd like uh, to uh, have people reach out to you, or what, what would be the next step about Absolutely. your involvement? You know, um, I'm looking to get businesses involved in different ways. Um, so outside of your traditional ad space, I'm actually doing a couple of organizations. I really want to get an Athlete of the Week program started with Belfast High School, Searsport High School, mm. and those kind of things that will change every week. I'm actually looking for a business to sponsor that um, so they can get in touch with me about that. I'm also doing you know, typical ad spaces, but the good news about Coffee News is, is for a business standpoint, it's exclusive. So once I have, say, a real estate agent, no other real estate agent can come in. Very so it gives them that added bonus of locking out your competition. Well, Chris, this is really exciting to learn more about Coffee News, to hear how you're in the community. Thank you very much for being our guest. Mr. Ryan, it's always appreciated, and uh, I appreciate you inviting me. Very good. The Chamber of Commerce provides networking and training for businesses, strategies for new economic development, and promotions for attracting visitors to the Belfast area.